Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and another interesting problem for you. Imagine that we have such situation where uh, we have one parent female, one parent male and this couple would have two identical twins. So this is going to be individual A, individual B, individual C, D and these two individuals would marry and everyone would have a child in their marriage and these children can be of the same sex or of the different sex it doesn't matter it doesn't affect our calculation so let's say this is going to be individual e f g and h so we need to find a coefficient of relatedness of the individual G and H. Well, I'm going to draw another pedigree, try to solve this problem. And another pedigree is going to be very similar. We have um, female here, male here. And this couple would have two children and it is very similar to what we have on the left two uh, siblings here each would marry and have also their own child and now we also have to calculate coefficient of relatedness here for individual once again this is going to be a b e c D, F, G, and H. So coefficient of relatedness between individual G and H. As you see, individuals G and H going to be cousins. So this is going to be brothers, and this is going to be cousins. And relatedness coefficient of relatedness would be number of the passes between these two individuals. So uh, individual G got 50% from his father and father got 50% from his mother and individual G also got 50% from the mother and individual H got 50% from his father. So our pathway would be one half here, one half here, one half here and one half here. In other words, one half in a power of four. But this is not the only path that can connect individuals G and H. These two individuals also has another common ancestor, ancestor B. So we have to put another path here. And this is going to be as follows. And we're going to get the same number. So we have to add these two probabilities. So plus one half in the power of four. And the answer would be uh, 0 0.125. If we need an answer in percentage form, we have to multiply this number by 100. And the answer would be you related to your cousin by 12.5 percent and this is what we got it on our right side and what our calculations would be here and actually it is easier uh, consider that individual C and D are identical twins so we can say that uh, we can join them uh, in one box and now who is going to be common ancestor of the individual G and H. And here is the only one common ancestor. These two individuals are related through their mothers, but their mothers are genetically identical twins. So we consider them as one individual. So one half here and one half here. So calculations would be pretty easy. These two people would be uh, by by 25 percent uh, related so 0 0.25 
multiplying by 100 and the answer would be they would share 25% of the same genetic makeup and this is going to be the same situation uh, another example would be imagine here is a female female marries has uh, one marriage and here she has uh, say um, a son also in other marriage she has a daughter so this is going to be half siblings how half siblings are related they're related through their mother and they would have the same uh, coefficient of relatedness as one quarter or uh, 0 0.25 or 25 percent so basically we have to consider the situation as the same what we see in this picture those we have two uh, individuals here but these individuals are genetically the same so those uh, two uh, sisters when would marry two different people the children would have the same genetic makeup as if uh, in this example where one female marries two males and have different uh, children in each marriage i hope this uh, video of you are interesting enough and you have uh, learned something new today thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.